uh, my best uh, uh, comedy album store story, and I don't mean this to be mean or anything else, uh, but it was uh, I was watching the re- the record sales because my records was selling. And then uh, then Dane Cook comes in and he just blows by me and I'm like, who's this guy? Because I'm I'm not an LA guy. I'm a road guy. You know, right. we don't know what's going on out here, nor do we give a shit. And uh, but I thought, well, it must. Be. So I was at a bookstore and I saw it, and I thought, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it and see what it see what it's like. So literally, I listened to it on the way home. When I got home, I pulled it out, threw it in the trash. Not. <laughs> Not to be mean, but just because I don't keep things I don't use. Right. And I knew I wouldn't listen to it again, and I wasn't going to give it to somebody else to listen to. And so it, I don't need it anymore. It's uh, it, We've run our you know run our thing. And, and uh, not to say anything bad about uh, Dane, because you know, plenty of bad things have been said. But <laughs> and, uh, but I just yeah. I, I was so unintuit it that, I'm like, if that's what they're doing out there, then uh, they're getting away with murder because <laughs> those aren't punchlines, I'm sorry to tell you. Well, that was a weird time. He locked into some weird thing where he sort of appealed to young girls. Like, he did comedy yeah, designed never for young girls. <laughs> no, no, yeah. that's not you. Yeah. It's not me either. Yeah. It's not a lot of us. Well, he had, you know, he had that fascinating stage presence too and you know just really walk on stage and take command of anything i you know i i don't know if he can still do it but at, at one time i'd watch him and i'm like you like him or not if you're a comic you could probably learn something from watching him as a young comic you know just walk up there and start doing it stare him down don't be timid you know and he was great stage stage present but the content i was like why what what <laughs> well, i don't get it i don't get it why don't we but and now I guess it's turned around on him. I mean, it's not, I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe. it turned around on him when that whole Louis C.K. plagiarism thing came out, and there's a lot of shit going on. It right. Was, was it he was supposed a, to have sold something, stole something from Louis? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Like a lot of things. Yeah. Before Louis was famous? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's when it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Lou, Louis was. <laughs> Get them uh, while they're young. Well, that's... Louis wasn't young, Louis was older than him. But Louis, he made it first. He broke through first. Right. And then it became a giant controversy. Like, Louis even addressed it on his television show. Like, he had Dane on as a, a guest I heard on about his that. show. Yeah, and they kind of yeah. went over it. It was very weird. Like, Louis did, he's so nice. Like, the way he handled it was so nice. Like, he wasn't mean about it at all. Right. He's not like you. In Mencia. Well, that was a different story. That was just the best thing ever. That was a different story. You had every comic in the country just cheering your fucking name, man. Go get him, Joe. And and you're such a badass. What's he going to do? Slap you? You know, <laughs> you can either listen to it or he can beat you up or whatever you want. What are you going to do? That was the worst I've ever seen, though. I've seen I've seen plagiarists before. I've seen guys get away with stealing people's shit. But I've never seen someone that blatant. He was a bully about it. Like, he would do your shit. He would go on in front of you and do your shit. Like, he would bring you up at the store and do your closing bit before he brought you up. Man. Yeah, I think it's one of those things like a serial killer wants to get caught, you know? You think that's what it is? Yeah, I do. I really do. I really do. Well, you know, the the, the only thing that matters to me really is, I mean, or the thing I'm most proud of is that I'm respected by my peers. That I didn't get here in some fucking cheap way. I did my fucking thirty years and in uh, nine million clubs and twelve thousand shows and and if I didn't have that, I don't know if I'd be able to show my face around here. No. And, uh...